we disagree You are my fast food fantasy Chalabay 12 here and welcome back to another food review Today we're going to be checking out once again a Munch Pack. If you guys don't know what Munch Pack is, it's a monthly subscription service for snacks from all around the world. And they were nice enough to send me another Munch Pack. Thank you very much, everyone at Munch Pack, that uh, helped build my Munch Pack Mini. And if you guys still haven't seen my first video that I did with Munch Pack, I will leave a link to Munch Pack in the description and the video that I did. So feel free to check them out after this video. So we're gonna check out what snacks we have this time. So it's really cute. I mean, it's a little box and they send you like different snacks from all around the world. I think this one is $9.95 plus shipping and handling. So I'm not sure, I mean like, for five snacks, I'm not sure if that's a, a price that's reasonable. I mean, these are very small snacks. They're not like uh, full size snacks, they're like sample size. But I mean, to try different snacks from all around the world, it's quite an experience. So I think in some way it is worth it because you get to try different things from all around the world. And I mean, who doesn't like that? So first thing we have, and I have, you know, I have a, a gut feeling for this. Seaweed snacks. I mean, seaweed. This is something that you really don't think about eating. Because the first thing that reminds me of seaweed is the days that I went to the beach. And there was like floaties everywhere. Seaweed. Like floating all around the water. And I'm thinking to myself, well, why are people eating this? So they say it's very healthy. It's... Sugar-free, trans fat, free cholesterol, free, no MSG, and no canola oil. So they say it's a really healthy snack. So I guess we're going to try a little bit just to say we tried it. Second thing we have, and we had these last time we did a uh, Munch Pack review. And I'm not sure if I'm going to pronounce this right, but Pokies. I think that's what it says. And last time I had the green tea Pokey, which... I wasn't too much into because green tea, I, I've never liked green tea in general. So this one is milk chocolate covered biscuit sticks. So this is chocolate. I think I'm gonna totally like these. Chocolate, anything chocolate I do like. Okay, so we also have a Orion custard soft cupcake. Okay, so it's a little cupcake with some custard some cream and egg yolk filling okay so it's a uh, egg filling we also have okay this is I'm not be able to pronounce this this is so from what it says in English it's a the way for cooking with chocolate so it's almost like the one we had last time and I'm not sure like I said if anyone can tell me where this is from we also have, the last thing we have is, I know this, this this is a wafer cookie. And if you guys don't know what wafer cookies are, it's basically a cookie that to me looks like pressed down with some sort of like syrup that's in like the middle. And this is made by Good Cookie. So we got one, two, three, four, five snacks. I think last time I had received six. So we're gonna try my least favorite that I think I'm not gonna enjoy. And of course, that's the seaweed. So expiration date, March 9th, 2017. We're still good. Okay, so seaweed. I don't think I have much viewers from Japan. But if you guys are from Japan, that'd be great, actually. I want to know who is watching me. Okay, it's a thin, it's a very thin, you know, strip. Let's try this. Okay, this is a very unique, interesting taste. I really can't pinpoint what this tastes like. 
like I said, I can't really put my my hand onto this, what it tastes like. It has, it says it's roasted with olive oil. And you, you could t definitely taste something being roasted. So, it's like, th this has a taste to something that I've never tried. I mean, seaweed, I've never tried that, so it is something I, I didn't try. But, you know, there's different things that you try that resembles to something else that you did try. But this, I can't really pinpoint on something that I've already tried. No, so it's pretty good. I mean, it's not bad, bad, like I like what I expected. But I'm going to give this... For ratings, I don't know. This it's a, has a very unique flavor, a unique like taste. Texture-wise, it's a th very thin layer of strips. That's it. You know, as you guys can tell, it's like paper thin. So it pretty much melts in your mouth. For ratings, I'm going to give this a 2 out of 5. I mean, it's not horrible. It's not bad, but this is something that I wouldn't try ever again or eat it ever again. I would only eat it if, if it's being sent to me. But, you know, thanks very much, Munch Pack, for allowing me to try this, something new. Second thing we're going to try is this custard cupcake. So, oh, it says right here, open. Okay. Okay. It smells like a cupcake. It smells like a vanilla cupcake that's what it smells like right off the bat so it's a custard soft cupcake and it's very small cupcake it's not huge so let's try this first thing is the cupcake is soft it's not dry and I think keeping it in the package kept it moist and you can see the egg like the egg yolk Let's try some of the egg yolk. To be honest, if you were to feed me this and put a blindfold on me and not tell me what it was, I would have thought this was cream. Yep, I would have thought this was cream. So if you put blindfold on me and you would have never told me this was made with egg yolk, I would have never knew. I thought I would have thought this was cream. So, a yellow cream. So, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, would this would this be something that I would try again? Yes, I would buy this. And I wouldn't even wait for people to send me this. I would actually buy it if I could find it. So, between, you know, if I would buy this and if I wouldn't, I would have to give this a 3 out of 5. It's pretty good. Worth trying. Next thing we're going to try is this. And I'm... Um, I'm wanting to try this, and I mean, a wafer cookie, it's always been my favorite thing. And like I said, I don't know how to pronounce the name of this uh, cookie, and I'm not going to try to say it because I'm going to butcher it, definitely. So, like I said, looks like a cookie covered in chocolate. That's what it is. And the picture actually made it look like it's dark chocolate, if you really look at it. But it looks like kind of milk chocolate. Let's try this. Okay. That actually tastes pretty good. Something between I would buy it and would not buy it, I think this would be like a three and a half, 3.5 out of five. It's pretty good. Worth a try. And I mean, all the snacks are worth a try, you know? And I mean, if you guys are looking for something different, you guys want to try, like a little sample size, Munch Pack is probably the thing that you would want to, you know, check out. So we're going to try this wafer cookie now. Oh yeah, smells really good. Smells like a, uh, smells like sugar. So let's try this. This is really good. This is better with a, a scoop of ice cream on top. This is, wow. I remember I used to eat these as a kid and that just brings me back to my, my, uh, my childhood. Pretty good. So this definitely gets a five to five it's soft it's not like hard it's soft it's sweet but not overly sweet so that was the wafer cookie fantastic 
that's something that I highly suggest everyone to uh, try if you guys can find them. Next thing we're going to have, the last thing, is of course the pokey. These definitely I'm going to, I'm totally going to like. I just know it. Okay, so there's a tab right here. It says open. And there's the bag. Okay, so we're going to open them with scissors. Because if we were opening these with our hands, I'd be here all day. This is what a pokey looks like. It's a biscuit stick covered in chocolate. These would probably be better if you had a cup of coffee. These are good. I knew I would like these. The green tea ones were good, but not as good as these ones. You guys know I'm going to rate this 5 out of 5. Really good. So the only two snacks that I liked a lot is the wafer cookie and the pokies. The other ones, like the seaweed, two out of five, three and a half, three, you know, these were good, but these are like my top favorite. So if you guys did enjoy this uh, review, like always, give it a thumbs up, subscribe like always. All my links to my social media will be in the description, so do follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook for upcoming reviews and vlogs. I'll leave all the links to Munchpack in the description, so feel free to check their website out and ask them questions. I'm pretty sure if you contact them, if you have any questions, contact them, and then they'll be gladly to answer any of your questions. So I hope you guys did enjoy this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. You disagree. You are my best friend.